Welcome to the Systems Innovation Learning Series. My name is Yasmin, and alongside my colleague Joss Cochester, we're going to host and facilitate today's session on behalf of the SI London Hub. So before we start, uh, I will just inform you that this session is being recorded and is going to be available on our YouTube channel afterwards. And I will uh, give you the link at the end of our session today. So in the meantime, I uh, hope you enjoy it. And if you have any questions, uh, please put on the chat and we have a place for you to put your questions at the end of our session as well. I'm going to be addressing them as we go on. Okay, so I will start to share my screen so we can get started. Great. So I hope you can see that. Awesome. Okay, so yes, as I said, uh, this is uh, the Systems Innovation Learning Series that has been hosted by the SI London Hub. So if you don't know the SI London Hub yet, you can click on this link here and you can find this great community of systems changers and systems innovation across uh, the UK. And you can uh, say hello and get pointed there as well. So we can um, get started. This is going to be a 45 minute session. And here we're going to cover what is the SI learning series, why you should participate, where you can find and register for the events, where you can find the guides and the conferences that are going to support us uh, in this journey, and how can you create your own learning experience. Uh, in the end, we're going to have a moment for Q&A as well. All right. So what is the SI learning series? This is designed to be a five months learning experience uh, where we're going to cover uh, the SI material and methodology for you to understand what systems innovation is. And this is going to be accessible to people at all stages of their journey into systems innovation. So it can be a person that is just starting your understanding and trying to make sense of all these ideas and concepts. And this is going to be suitable for you. And you can be someone that has been working and researching for years, maybe decades, and this is going to be of relevance for you as well. And a good part of this learning series is that you can adjust to your own needs and to your own schedule. So this is going to be a bit more detailed uh, soon, but this is the essential part of the, what we're going to provide during this learning series. So why you should participate? Uh, this is going to be an overview of what systems innovation is. And of course, it's important to understand the ideas, methods, and tools that we use here in the SI network. And of course, uh, for you to have a more practical experience of all these ideas, we're going to bring case studies and challenges to illustrate what this theory looks like in practice. And once you understood how this works, then you will be able to use the SI material for future events, workshops, and even your own research, if you like. So where can you find uh, the events that we're going to uh, have during these five months? So I will open I will open my website so you can I can guide you through. Uh, here, and you can understand it better where the events are. So here's the first page of the website. And here below feed, you have events. If you click on the events, you can find all the events and activities that are happening in the SI network in general. So where and how can you identify the events specifically for the SI learning series. They are going to be identified here in the beginning and then uh, the name of the 
specific session that is going to be. So if you scroll down on your website, you're going to see that our first learning series event is here on February 15th on Introduction to Systems Innovation. So if you click here, you can find all the details specifically for this event. So the date, the time, uh, the Zoom link is here as well. Here are going to have uh, buttons for you to register, uh, add to your calendar so you can remember that. And here is the description of this specific event. So here you have an overview, uh, the resources that we're going to use to this specific event, um, what will happen and uh, logistics as well. They're going to be important to support us and give you a full experience on this journey. So for example, the mirror board that we're going to be using and the specific guides and canvases that are going to be specific for this event as well. So each one of these sessions are going to have all this detailed information, okay? So let me go back to my mirror board. And yes, yeah, so this mirror board is going to be available for you if you want to check afterwards. So here I put uh, just some information in case you want to uh, check it further. So you can register for your first event here if you click on this link right here on the top corner. Okay. Any questions uh, so far? Any comments? Just anything on the chat? Anything? Uh, nope. I just shared the board uh, so that people can join uh, there. Great. And uh, yeah, it will be stay going. Great. Awesome. Okay, so we can continue. Uh, yes, as I said. Uh, each one of these sessions are going to be uh, supported by the SI material. And here you ha we have the guides and the canvases. So these are the five main guides that we're going to uh, cover during these five months. And what are the guides? The guides are a series of uh, documents. They are very easy and accessible for you to learn about systems innovation and they follow uh, the method for doing a uh, systems change. And again, once you understand that, you can use for future events, for future workshops and a learning experience. Here we have the, the canvases. And the canvases are a way to support the understanding of the, of the guides in a more practical way. So all the canvases are linked to the guides and this is going to make uh, sense once we understand the structure of the learning series and the SI methodology in general, okay? And here I will show you now where you can find the guides and the tools on our website. So if you go back to the network, the website here on the left-hand side, you can find, as I said before, the feeds, the events, and then you have the tools here. If you click on the tools, you can find all the canvases and all the guides that we have available. This is a lot of very valuable content, and we won't be able to go further into each one of these. So again, all the ones that are specifically to the event are going to be detailed in the event description as I showed before. I saw one hand here, yeah. sorry. Yeah, I was just gonna pick up um, Claudia has a question. Uh, oh yes, can please. We link, can we have the link by mail? Is this email you want to send to Claudia? Sorry. 
Can we have the, uh, okay, can we have the link by mail? The link to, to what specifically? Do you mind unmuting yourself, sorry, to explain it better? Sure, sorry. I'm, I'm driving and I had to stop on the side to, to clear the question. Uh, the presentation that you're showing now, uh, because I'm connecting with my telephone and you send the link in the chat box. So I cannot, when we finish this session, I will not have the link because the chat box will be closed. Okay. But if you, if you, send if you share it, your I, email, if you share your ah, email that would in be the amazing. chat, I, I can send it to you now. Thank yeah. you. Okay. And by the way, just thank you very much because you are like falling from the sky for me. <laughs> <laughs> I love I love all the process. I my first session and I need to integrate all what you're doing because it's it's amazing and thank you so much for organizing all this. Thank you. <laughs> well, thank you for being here. And yes, this is a great way for you to experience all these resources as well in a way that is going to be useful for you. Yes. Great for you to be here. Okay. So do we have any more? Questions? Anything? We can continue. Yes, uh, awesome. I think we're good. Yep, we're still great. Good. Right. Yes. Yeah, so now that you know where the canvas is, the guides, and everything is, now this is the time to really understand the structure of all that. And as uh, systems innovation, we have this uh, method to understand how we can go about doing systems change. And this is the method that we're going to cover during these uh, five months. First of all, we're going to start with an understanding of systems innovation, what it is, why is it important, followed uh, by the systems thinking, where we're going to be able to reframe our understanding of the challenge or of the system in place and understand uh, and embrace the complexity within it. After that, we're going to systems inquiry where we're going to have uh, a holistic, we're going to be able to make this holistic inquiry and ma map out the factors that are involved in this dynamic of the current system. After that, systems change. We're going to envision alternative futures and identify points to intervene for effective influence. The final part is going to be systems building, where we're going to ask the question how we can develop a platform for connecting people and resources in a way to scale the change that we want to see. So in more practical terms, this is how it's going to look like. And we are going to start, as I said, uh, our five months journey on February 15th, okay? This is going to start then and finish on July, on June uh, 28th, sorry. And every Wednesday, at 5 p.m. UK time, we're going to have a session. And here you can see that in two ways. You can see that by module or you can see that by type. So what exactly do I mean by that? You can see that as five main modules, as I said before, systems innovation, systems thinking, and so on. But you can see that as well as an introduction to each one of these modules a tool that is going to support each one of these ideas, a case study to understand more practically the modules, and finally, a challenge that we're going to use the understanding of the previous sessions to make sense of uh, the module in, in place, let's say. So, for example, if you are uh, a person that is just starting, your understanding your journey and you don't know exactly where to start you don't uh, understand much of the theory then i would say the introduction is the one more suitable for you 
So you can start with the introduction of each one of these modules. And these are going to be on February 15th, March 15th, April 12th, May 10th, and June 7th, for example. If you are uh, someone that is already experienced and understands the theory and the ideas uh, behind each one of these modules, but would like something more tangible and a practical experience, then I would say case studies and challenges are the opportunities for you to deepen your understanding in a practical term. So here you have the dates that you can participate and uh, match your needs and interests with this learning series, okay? And of course, you can follow all these uh, sessions with us as we're going to build from introduction to challenge in each one of these modules. So I saw a hand, so please. Yep, yes. um, I was wondering, have we probably communicated what we mean by introduction, tools, case studies, and challenges? Do you want me to say a word about that? Or? Yeah, yeah, maybe we can go. So, so the when we say introduction, what we're talking about is taking in those sessions, each of these sessions uh, is about 90 minutes long. In those sessions, we take the guide and uh, we do a presentation. Myself or Yasmin would do a presentation uh, for you so that you understand the ideas in the guide. Um, and we have a discussion around those um, and then probably breakout rooms. Um, that's what we mean by introductions. You get the basic ideas when we say tools. Um, it's those canvases we have on our website. So for each of those guides, we have some uh, tools based upon it. So you'll be doing kind of a workshop in those sessions, learning how to use the canvases and so on. Uh, that's the format in the tools one. In the case study, um, we would either be presenting, exploring, discussing a, a case study or having someone join us to talk about um, a case study, a, a, a systems change project they worked on um, or some combination of both. And then we say challenges, we mean some kind of co-creation event where we would take a challenge and um, a canvas and we would uh, work collectively on ideating um, how we'd apply these tools to responding to that challenge. Yes, exactly. So yes, this is going to happen every Wednesday at uh, 5 p.m. UK time. And you can identify which ones are best suited for your own experience. Okay. Does it make sense? Questions? Um, Yasmin, hi. Uh, thank you so much for your presentation. This is absolutely fantastic. I'm really impressed with the wealth of information and resources out there. Um, unfortunately, I can't make the first session. Um, but is it okay for me to participate um, in the ones afterwards? Is yes, okay? definitely. Yes, of course. Yes, sure. Uh, what about recordings, Jasmine? Yes, we can uh, record the sessions as well and leave on the um, YouTube channel as well. So if you don't, if you can't participate, then you can go there and check the information. Okay. Uh, so maybe I'll pick up that question by, um, or maybe uh, Carrie, you want to speak out your question? Yeah, I'm just, uh, maybe I, <laughs> I didn't listen clearly. I wasn't quite clear on the, the relationship between the innovation thinking, inquiry, change and building. Is it is mm. it progressive or is this something like to s help us to see things in a different way? So um, it fits together to form a process or a method um, okay. for do doing systems innovation. And the first section, when we go to do um, when we go to do this, um, the first dimension we think we need to do these four dimensions to really make this happen. And the first section there is around framing the challenge and trying to think systemically about it. Um, so that's what we're, we're talking about when we say the systems thinking part. The second part talks about systems inquiry. That's about understanding the challenge, uh, understanding the system, mapping out the factors and relationships and so forth. Um, so those are really key. And then down here, um, the systems change part, it's about how do we bring, understand the actors in the system uh, and bring them together and develop um, the new innovations to create a new network. And then the final part, the systems building, 
was about how do we create a platform to support that ecosystem in, in learning, um, learning about the challenge and learning how to work together, uh, scaling and assessing for impact and so forth. So they are uh, four dimensions that fit together. There's obviously a first dimension, which was the systems innovation, which is kind of an overview to the whole thing. Um, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, and I'll just show you maybe uh, briefly, you know, what this looks like. We do a learning lab using this exact same process. We had a session last oh. night. Mm -hmm. You can see up here we're using tools. We learned this is kind of what it will look like, a bit like this, except for this is a, a lab here, so we compress it into five weeks, but we'll be doing it over five months. Um, so you can see here we learn um, the ideas down here in a very kind of visual and graphic way. Um, mm -hmm. And then we use these tools up here um, wow. to, to learn about those, and uh, we iterate through that. Yeah, except for in 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 our sessions because we have longer, we'll have case studies and co-creations and other things also. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Great. Uh, any other questions? I see here, Melissa. Is there a fee to participate? No, no fees. Mm -hmm. Amazing. Isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we want to help you learn how to use uh, both the content on the website and learn how to do this stuff. Um, so this is uh, an opportunity uh, for that. Uh, Claudia, can you start a hub in Barcelona? Yeah, happy to talk to you about that. It's not um, the topic of today's event, so send us a message. Yes, I, I would like to share a bit something because I am very uh, sensitive with partnerships in my region and we have a mindset issue for this. Uh, uh, we have a lot of resistance, cultural resistance to build uh, cross sector partnerships, uh, multi actor and uh, I just I don't know how I dropped into your page it's like coincidentally and I thought wow maybe it's because the mindset it's not the partnerships it's the system innovation change it's another it's to hire the the framework no so that's why i'm i appreciate a lot that you're sharing your knowledge so organizedly and so widely so then it will be much more easier for me to work on the partnerships from this uh, framework that you are offering so thank you mm. you're welcome hopefully you're able to join us for as many of the sessions as possible. Yasmin was saying which ones are best for beginners and more advanced. Um, of course, what's best if you, is you join for all of them, right? And you get an idea of how, how it all fits together. Um, yeah. Nice. Any other questions? Mm -hmm. um, no more questions. Okay, so yes, okay, yeah. So this is uh, the the idea behind this this session today is just to give you an overview of how this is going to look like. And yes, as I said, uh, the events are going to be available on the platform. And yeah, under systems um, innovation learning series, and you can join and organize the way that it's more suitable for you. Okay. Great. So what happens next? So of course, the, the next uh, learning series event is going to be on February 15th. So you're all very welcome to participate. Uh, don't forget to follow the SI London Hub. And we're waiting for your amazing uh, introductions and experiences there as well. And here you can find the YouTube link, uh, the SI London Hub YouTube link. There you can find all the recordings, this one and the other events as well. All right. So, Kerry. Yes, um, <laughs> I'm 